Hey everyone, this video is going to be a tour of my dressing table, basically looking at um, what's on it and makeup and jewellery and just kind of discussing a few products that I sort of pick up along the way. So let's get started. So this is my dressing table, it's um, relatively new, I purchased it off um, Amazon um, and it's exactly what I was looking for basically, just a traditional um, dressing table. Um, now first of all if we have a look what's on the top, so this top section I basically have my necklaces and um, I find that it's okay but I've recently purchased something else that we will um, look at a little bit later. I just find it can become a little bit clustered but I do like the idea of something being quite tall standing up there. Um, and then if we have a look at some of the products that I've got, um, I've got the Michael Todd um, intensive organic cream eye, eye treatment basically um, and I'm going to be doing a whole review after this video of all my Michael Todd products that I've got um, and basically it's a raving review um, so yeah I sort of use this every now and again um, just as sort of like a little boost after wearing a mask um, and I just kind of keep that on hand um, just to remind me to use it really and then I have got the Elizabeth Arden um, 8 hour cream that I got in my, um, not I think it was in my March glossy box. Um, haven't really used it that much but again I'm keeping it just on the top to just remind me that I've got it. Because I think if I put too many things away, although it looks less cluttered, um, I forget to use them. And then I've just got a sort of a hair accessory. And then this really cute... Um, ring holder but then it's also quite nice to sort of store um, longer necklaces they're a little bit more delicate and some um, earrings as well to just keep in there so that's really cute really like that I think that was from Urban Outfitters so that was lovely and then round the back um, I've got some sample um, perfumes one that I got in my recent glossy box and two I don't remember where they came from and then two other perfumes that are just on their way out but um, I've got a little bit in, so it's kind of quite nice if you're going away for the weekend to just take those with me because I've got a few spritz left in them. Um, then I've got a nice candle that I haven't actually burnt yet. Um, it's a vanilla and pecan cookie one, so it sounds completely divine, um, but I just haven't used it yet. Um, but yeah, so I've got that there. And then, um, which is actually a coaster, I've actually got um, just some hair ties and hair grips um, to just keep at hand for if I'm pulling my hair back or just if I need to just pull it back to just do my makeup. And then on the outside here I've got the Tresemme um, huge hairspray that is just absolutely fantastic. It doesn't have a terrible fragrance, it um, has an amazing hold um, all day and but doesn't feel too crispy either. And then, just hiding behind there, I've got a huge um, dry shampoo and I think it was one of my very first videos on YouTube where I did a whole video related to this one amazing product. So I've actually now got a huge version because they didn't used to do them that huge so I had to um, jump on that bandwagon. Then moving into the middle, um, I have got in the most recent glossy box, um, just in front of it I've got sort of um rose head things you put on your head for doing your makeup or just washing your face tend to keep that bit there but love this glossy box pearl though designed it um and literally as soon as i'd finished doing my opening video i was like right things are going in there so i love that and then i've got all my perfumes that i tend to wear on a day-to-day -day basis um that i have done a video on and then i also keep my um, two favourite um, foundations and the one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, which is absolutely fantastic, it's SPF 10 um, but also at the weekend my sister-in-law, a wonderful sister-in-law that I've got she actually gave me this um, Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation because it was a bit too light for her I think and um, I don't know why I hadn't purchased it I think it's because I just got my MAC one and my Estee Lauder one, I just never got round to, to getting it and she gave it me and the moment I put it on, on my face on Monday, I loved it. Um, so I think that is absolutely fantastic and I'll definitely be repurchasing that. And then just in like a nice little, it's kind of like a cup but it's just basically for holding things. 
I've got my brushes and as you can see um, I've got mostly real techniques I've got one Mac one and then um, real technique ones um, for my eyes and for my face and then a blusher one as well which I absolutely love and I just love having them there so I can just grab them easily and then my growing collection of nail varnish again with the lid of a glossy box um, I just decided to put my nail varnishes all together but what I'm gonna do is get a little paintbrush so that I can paint the colours onto the top so it's a little bit easier but to be quite honest with you when um, you sit here that long you can obviously see these front ones but and also I know what these colours are further back um, but yeah it's just lovely to have a nice lovely collection to see what suits but I know that I've recently purchased another four um, little Essie ones so I'm going to try and find where I'm going to fit those in so then also using um, these two little pink containers actually had the um, 212 uh, perfume in and I just love using them for um, lip products or eye products that are a little bit longer. Um, I mean I'm a massive fan of the uh, Rimmel, Rimmel uh, Just Bit and Kissable um, lip stain love those two um and then what i've gotten today was in the march glossy box keep holding everything the wrong way um and it's the um jelly pong pong lip blush love that um i have got the collection 2000 foundation in there um not not foundation concealer mm, i did really like it but i'm finding it can be a bit odd under the eyes it's okay for blemishes but under the eyes it's not really doing the job for me um and then i've actually only got one um of the apocalypse um lip lacquer i found it too gloopy for me um i suppose i should have said this at the beginning that this is no way a huge collection um this is just i think what the average joe's got because i'm certainly no makeup artist so i'm certainly no expert either but hey ho let's carry on then we move on to my lipstick collection and um i've got a mac one here and it is luster viva glam range i'll show you the, the color it's kind of like a nice shimmery pink nothing too over the top um but basically I purchased it when I had my MAC makeover and um, I was looking for just an everyday look and this was the lipstick that she um, she used so I really wanted to get that so that was lovely. And then we've got the lovely Primark lipstick which is okay but doesn't really have a staying power um, as other ones do but for a pound what can you say? And then um, I've got my most recent one, which is my e.l.f. lipstick. That is this pinky tone that I just thought would be lovely for the spring, summer. And it is a lovely colour. Um, and actually has long, it stays on your lips for a long time, which is lovely. Uh, but I just tend to keep those just in there um, to just keep them up. Oh, and there's a little one. Um, like a lip gloss from Urban Decay that came with my Naked 2 palette which smells absolutely amazing I'll pop that one in there um, and then towards the front I've got um, like an OPI and a Sally Hansen um, top coat and the Sally Hansen actually is more for um, cuticle and nail oil actually um, so that was lovely to just kind of look after your nails and then I absolutely swear by um, this Carmex um, lip balm I've been just loving it over the horrible wintry months that we have had this has just pulled it out the bag and made it so much better I literally just put it on my face at any moment <laughs> Um, and then also just sneaking down here I have got the Arrays Paste by Benefit in shade 2. I really like this product, it goes really well under my eyes um, and just um, doesn't over crease or anything. I think that was the problem with the collection one, that it just seemed to crease a little bit and I didn't know I had creases under my eyes so that wasn't very nice. Um, but yeah, so really love that, it's the only little version but it's going well. And then I use also the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly for basically um, 
going as a base for my eyeshadow or some days if I'm just kind of going for a neutral look um, then I will um, wear this just on its own and they tend to just kind of sit there because that's where they tend to sit so that's quite nice and then basically up here in just a little stationary thing um, that's also the base no the lid of the glossy box I just have my day-to-day -day makeup to just grab um, um, for when I'm getting ready for morning basically I need everything together because if I'm rummaging through drawers it's going to take me even longer and trust me I get up at last minute so what have I got I have got this is quite an old concealer but it actually is really nice um, it's by Bourgeois and it's um, and it's basically a illum illuminating concealer so it's actually really nice in these springy months um, to conceal but also illuminate as well um, now love hate with this mascara it is it's all right but it's nothing great so it's really bugging me so I have gone back to my trusted um, MAC full slash extreme effect black no there's no effect there but um, I love this um, mascara it does exactly what it says on the tin basically um, trust that absolutely then I have got now I tend to use this sometimes but I've really got it up here because it's so little that it would likely to get lost um, it's the high beam by benefit I don't really wear this to work but sort of on casual days or like at the weekend then I would more than likely wear that then the concealer that I go to the most is my MAC concealer and it is in NW20 and it's the mineralized concealer that's not quite focusing but trust me that's what it is um i've had this for a nearly a year and a half now um and even sometimes i would just wear this with um my laura mercier tinted moisturizer and it's you're good to go basically um and then i also have um this is my absolute favorite um eyeliner and it's barry m blink eyeliner it's basically like a pen and it really has helped me to teach myself how to um, do the flick at the end because I was struggling so that has been an absolute godsend then we have got um, whoop, MAC prep and prime skin um, visage and basically it's just the perfect base um, to put on and then put your makeup on and your makeup stays there really well it's absolutely amazing I can definitely tell the difference in the days when I haven't been wearing this um, and then this was my most recent purchase from elf a lovely little blusher I think you can see through the little window it is really nice I didn't think that I'd be able to beat it um, I can get it open it's a really nice sort of a peachy tone but has also got quite a um, an orangey tint to it as well it's looking a bit too pale on the camera lens but um, it is really nice um, nice for sort of spring I think um, but I wanted something a little bit more for summer but I've now got that so I'll show you that in a moment then oh my goodness what would life be like without this uh, mineralized MAC skin finish natural and this is also in this is a medium plus and some days I will wear this just on its own. Some days I'll wear this over my Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser. But it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it just really seems to set um, your concealer if you're just wearing concealer. Um, but it just it seems absolutely fab. So I, I love that. It has been um, just an absolute godsend. So. And then moving on to my bronzer. And I've got the chocolate one from Bourgeois. Um, and I've been using this for nearly a month now um, it hasn't got that much of a dent into it but it has been a month I did a video on it um, and it's just fantastic it does give you that extra glow um, and that kind of shimmer I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it is lovely I really like that um, and then moving up onto eyeshadows and I've got my the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette that I've used for two or three months now is it 
Oh my goodness, what a wonderful collection of eyeshadows. The staying power of these is absolutely amazing. The fact that you can just create a different look every single day because you can put one on its own or two together or three together. I love blackout because sometimes I don't want um, a real harsh liquid eyeliner. I would like to just use that. And then even the thing that I'm wearing today, I know you haven't seen much of me, but basically I like to sort of use some of the darker brown shades as um, eyeliner themselves. So I love that. I don't know what life would be like that. Um, and then, kept, keep mentioning it, the Tinted Moisturiser by Laura Mercier, um, SPF 20, absolutely fantastic. For those days where my skin's looking alright and I'm sort of feeling quite confident with it, then I will reach for this and it is wonderful. It's so lightweight um, and absolutely it's flawless coverage. I wasn't reading that at first, but yeah, spot on, love that. Um, and then just a little mirror and then... Um, this is a lovely palette from um, e.l.f. didn't think about this opening things one handed. But another lovely palette, um, just with a few more brighter colours, but also some nice shades that um, have a little bit more shimmer to it than the Naked 2 palette. So I really like those, and I like some of the darker shades as well, and it's really lovely palette to just mix and match. So love that we have my new absolute favourite blusher from Sleek and it's in Pixie Pink, Pixie Pink. Um, and it's, oh it's so beautiful, it's a really pinky shade um, that I'm just looking forward to wearing over the summer but sort of on summery days like today I just whacked it on and it just, it, I just love it. Um, it was actually in the um, April Glossy Box but my sister-in-law had already purchased it because she loved it um, and so when she got it in her box she kindly gave it to me so I thought that was lovely um, So, but I've been wearing that every single day since you give me that Lisa so love it um, and then I got this Kabuki brush from e.l.f which is just super for applying this blusher um, and I was also using that to apply the bronzer as well when I was on holiday and it, it's just so soft and lovely then, um, if you've noticed, I've got some little drawers, and in basically inside these little drawers, we have got sort of overflow makeup. Um, this is the MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation that I wear in the winter months when I want um, a little bit more coverage. Um, and I was certainly always turning to this. This is my second bottle of this. Um, absolutely love it. Um, and then we've got, say, um, a bronzing powder um, from Max Factor, which is a little bit old, but it sort of it does create a nice sort of shimmer if you're just sort of wearing it with concealer. Um, so I love that. Then a blusher that's all right, but it doesn't have much stain power. Then the classic um, Rimmel Stay Matte press powder. It's okay, it does the job, but I don't think it will match up to my MAC Mineralize um, skin finish one. So that's why I'm sort of using that one up and then probably moving on to this one. And then just sort of little tester pots of the um, Estee Lauder one, which I love. Then some, just some eyeshadows that I think, a, pe a chili pepper one. I think someone must have bought me that one. Then I'll, And then I've basically got sort of these little ones um, by Benefit High Beam, uh, Posy Tint, the Meat a Germans Pearl, just little things to try that I haven't really used yet and then I've got a Bourjois Blusher in Rose which is actually quite a nice cute colour um, but I get a little bit frustrated because these pots are super cute but then I get frustrated with how I can't sort of get at the product that well but it is a really nice shade actually um, and every time I look at it I think actually that's really nice but I think I just get a bit frustrated with the little pot I don't feel like I'm getting much product for my money um, and then this is the MAC um, blusher in Warm Soul that I wore, wore throughout all winter and completely adore it it's really lovely sort of darker blusher really love that and in this drawer I've got sort of overflow of um, eyeshadows really. I think because I've got the Naked 2 palette that tends to fit the bill for my day to day. Whereas if I'm sort of looking for a different look like this blue one from MAC um, in Clarity 
or um, sort of like a silvery one, this number 17, or a darker purpley one from um, MAC, which is Shale, which is actually a really lovely colour because I've got green eyes, the purple really looks quite nice. Um, and then a Rimmel London purpley um, eyeshadow, these are sort of my older ones, I mean that's so cracked um, and so hitting pan, but I just really love them and they're just kind of nice to just grab if you're going away for the weekend um, to just sort of take away with you. And then um, we've got sort of eyeliners, like a whole lovely collection, I don't know if you can quite see that, of eyeliners that I've purchased because I thought, oh these will teach me how to put eyeliner on and they didn't, but I didn't want to chuck them away. Um, and then I did get, yeah, some lovely little pink Vaseline. Um, I did get the MUA um, Matte Perfect, Perfect Foundation in Natural. It's okay, it doesn't last that long, but I think it was about £2, two pounds, two or three pounds. It's okay. I think it would be something that I might take on holiday with me because I feel now that I would like a little bit of coverage on holiday. This might fit the bill. Um, and then just sort of some lip products, some eye products here, eyeshadows that are creamy, and they're from Topshop. Um, actually, when I first saw them, I thought, blimey, uh, purple and then like a pink for your eyes. They're actually not that bright. They are um, quite nice. I'll actually just do a swatch for you. As you can see, I don't think it's... You can see more of the purple, but the pink is very, very pale. Um, and to be quite honest with you, the pink, I think, would be more... Um, useful as a blusher but um it's a it's sort of like a liquid one so that was really nice um and then so sort of some uh, lip products that i think i must have just been given a gift or something because lip gloss has never really been my thing but um i sort of wanted to keep them because i think when you're going out it is nice to sort of have that glossier look and then a lipstick that I got um, that I just have not been brave enough to wear yet. And it's um, Rimmel London, the Kate Moss collection, and it was in 01. Um, really lovely shade. I mean, I just am not brave enough to go that dark and that red. Um, but maybe when the winter months come round again, I might be brave enough to this time. We shall see. And then basically I just have my Nivea Pearl and Beauty deodorant which is just absolutely fantastic. I used to be a um, aerosol junkie but now I've discovered this, no way am I going back. And then just on the end I've got some really nice little tins um, that was basically a London bus. Um, and actually in these tins there's nothing in them at the moment. And this is a Kath Kidston collection, um, but I just really love just sort of lovely little tins. And probably as my makeup collection grows, I will probably start to put more and more things into here. But I just like them having on the end of my dressing table. Carrying on, I've now got my jewellery here. Now, as you can see, there's not many necklaces on there, but the reason why is because I put this up at the weekend and um, I'd recently purchased it from ASOS for, I think, £3.50. And what I'm doing is every single day I'm getting a new, um, not a new, a necklace off this stand here. And every time I've worn it, I'm then putting it onto there. And basically, I'm going to be doing this for the next few days and maybe the next few weeks. And basically seeing which ones am I not choosing and then probably um, give them to family or friends or even just sell them on eBay. Bay, but I pretty much wear all of them but I just want to see by filtering them out slowly but surely um, are there some in there that are just sort of clogging other things up I mean basically they're mainly from uh, this is from Topshop this is um, Primark 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 um, and some Marks and Spencer's ones just sort of a range nice range really um, and then this was actually a gift I think this was Topshop and this one was from Accessorize. But it's just a nice sort of way of seeing them. I mean, it would be nice, to be honest, to just have one on each hook. But I'm sort of thinking that I might sort of put two on. Or I might have one on each hook of everyday ones. And then um, keep just a few on here. 
because I don't actually want to get rid of this stand but it's just because there's so many on there it just becomes quite clustered and I don't like things being too unorganised. Moving on to my um, rest of my jewellery, I've actually done a video of this but I just thought I'd just do a quick one because it's all related to my uh, dressing table. Um, these are sort of bracelets that I wear for sort of on special occasions that they're either presents or um, just sort of eveningy ones that I don't want to sort of spoil wear in the day. Um, and then even I've got one that um, that was actually my nan's, um, and I absolutely adore this um, beautiful necklace with sort of old sixpence on it, and with lovely little charms on it, which is lovely. And I have worn this a few times, but I think when you're wearing it, it's a bit sort of scary. Everything, oh, I don't want it to fall off. But I love that. Um, and then in my next drawer, um, these are sort of everyday. Uh, bracelets that I wear that basically Topshop, Primark, Accessorize um, and Disney Couture um, not too expensive so to be honest wearing them to work um, and around a toddler if they got broken it wouldn't be the end of the world um, and then up here I've got my earrings which I really am not wearing that much at the moment which is really frustrating me because I've got a lovely collection and um, some really lovely ones that haven't even been on my ears yet um, but they're pretty much Primark, H&M, uh, River Island, there we go. And then up here we've got um, the diesel perfume that I just wear for sort of going out. Some overflow hair ties and just some sort of hairy things that I haven't actually worn for a while but I don't want to get rid of. Now moving on to more hair things, I've got my hair dryer that is super old but super useful and then my curling wand from Tresemme that has just been absolutely great. Then moving into this huge drawer that is super heavy but it's just great for looking at products that I don't tend to wear that much but it's just great because at the moment I'm completely addicted to Bumble and Bumble um, and I keep those in my bathroom and as, when my hair is completely wet from the shower then I put those products straight away on my hair and then these ones can sort of go in a little bit later they don't have to, I personally just find that the Bumble and Bumble ones need to be when your hair is really really wet whereas these ones can go in a little bit later but obviously not all together, you don't want that much volume um, but love this um, tone correcting one from John Frieda then a smaller version of my hairspray um, that came in a glossy box that is brilliant. This is a mousse from Tresemme. I wasn't too keen on it last time. It was a bit too crispy for me and that's why I reached Bumble and Bumble. But I've kept it to just see how it goes. Then um, this Paul Mitchell um, a super skinny relaxing balm. I don't tend to be wearing my hair straight much at the minute. But that's what I've reached to. This was an ultimate fail. I purchased this. Um, it stinks, it tastes disgusting, um, but I don't want to get rid of it because it was so expensive. Then next to it is my ultimate favourite product and it's the Elnit Satin um, Volume 3 Day. Um, heat protectant but also allows your hair to keep however you styled it for three days basically and I absolutely love it. Then this little comb here from Primark which I love. Um, if you've watched the Get Ready With Me video, you'll see that I use this religiously. A smaller version of the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Then at the back we've got, oh my goodness, I love it, Aussie products that smell divine. Um, I've basically got a leave-in conditioner, which is Ace, um, but don't really use it that much. Then I've got sort of at the back some heat protectants that I used previously, but because I'm using the Elnet, it seems to fit the bill a bit better. Um, so, but I'm keeping those, I don't want to get rid of them. Then um, a curling wand that I did love completely, and I've even done a video of it, but my Tresemme one just superseded it and um, just some deodorant that I was using but as I say I got the pearl one and adore it and just some lovely little tissues from Primark and then a hairbrush that I completely love and had have had for years but my tangle teaser has just jumped in and stolen its place then I've got some wipes I rarely use them but I took them on holiday and I just thought I may as well keep them there they're kind of good for cleaning cleaning some makeup off your hands really things like that um, and then I've got um, my bun that I use and just some nail art that I sometimes use my Kath Kidston um, wonderful manicure kit which is just wonderful to have on hand 
the um, Crabtree and Evelyn um, hand care which is just beautiful and then a Kath Kidston um, purse I'm not quite sure where I've got it here but it's just nice to have there and then all my ties together hair ties together on one of these clips it just keeps everything together and then I have got um, my GHDs that I purchased and I think just cost a bomb at the time um, and they just still do the job today. I, I love them but I rarely use them. And then some more deodorants and um, I did have the Bourjois one of these, the um, nail polish remover but it died, all the black stuff came out so I just tried this to see how it goes. I'm trying it at the moment and then just these little pots of lids of things that have gone um, but basically just a nice way of putting hair grips on because I'm growing my fridge out and it's just a nice way of putting grips in a nice organised way. Right so there we go, um, I kind of want to apologise for just a rambly video but I kind of haven't done um, a video like this in a while where I'm sort of talking to you um, but you just didn't get to see me but it's just a nice way of sort of showing you um, my makeup, my jewellery and just how I sort of organise a few bits. I mean if you can get something from how I organise things or maybe just some products that I've talked about then it's a worthwhile video. So if you have liked it then please give it a nice thumbs up because it always makes me smile. Um, and it's just so wonderful if you really liked it that you subscribe because every time I get an email saying that someone new has subscribed it really does put a smile hugely on my face and it stops me in my tracks um, but yeah so thank you very much for watching this video I would like to say that I could have edited it in some way I even want to say I'd speed it up but then that would just sound weird so take care everyone and I will see you soon bye